we've made several updates to how we run our code in CLine 2020.1. To illustrate some of them, here's some code to compute or estimate pi using a few different algorithms. You can either pass the name of the algorithm on the command line, or send to standard in. Now what if we wanted to redirect the contents of a file, like this one, to standard in to test this? Well now you can do that with this new option in the run config, redirect input from. We can select a file here, then run and see that each line is fed into standard in. Of course, we can debug this way too. But maybe we want to prompt the user for the name of an algorithm. Now we could use standard in on the console, but we can also now do that using the command line arguments. Back in the run config, you'll see that program arguments, working directory, and the new redirect input from fields all have this new plus symbols. Clicking here shows a list of macros that can now be inserted to expand to different constants or even prompt for input. Now if we run, we'll be prompted for an algorithm name, and we can see that it's expanded into the program arguments, in this case. Another interesting macro is SyncMake current product file, which as you can see from the preview, expands to the full path to the compiled executable. Why is this useful? Well, you may want to pass this to another process for it to spawn the target image indirectly such as with this example, which uses exec to invoke its arguments. Running that, we can see that the launched executable was Hemerodrome, which then executed our Pi calculating process. Because in this case, it does so within the same image address space rather than forking a new process, we can even debug back into our target. And finally, for remote debug and remote development, our SSH config dialogs have been updated to be the same across all of our products. As well as some welcome consistency to use multiple products, there come in new features too. A list of previously used configs to select from, and a test connection button. And these configs are now centralized and accessible from a new settings page under Tools, SSH Configurations. So with input redirection and macros in the run debug configs, and an updated, consistent, centralized SSH config management system, working with your built executables just got more powerful.